Uh, water. Mm. Drink your water in the morning. A bunch of water. I don't know, quart. <laughs> Something like that. Picking this paper there. I dropped down there. Sorry about that. Um, so a couple of things, a few things. Uh, so so that I was watching football last night, you know, the, the, with the, uh, what do you call those people? Uh, the Lions versus the, the Cheeseheads, right? Good game. There's been a lot of, at least beginnings, there's been a lot of really good football games, you know, American football we're talking about right now. And, and I, I've enjoyed quite a few of them. I'm stuck here in the States. So I watch football. That's what I do. What can I tell you? Um, uh, uh, what's I say? Um, that's kind of interesting because you know they, I love you know what things I ever feel called they, that's the years ago they started this where they they, they, they put the the players on they when they're playing a position they would say what school they're from a lot of a, 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 they started of course with university university is the whole thing or college is like that but then they started people talking about their high school some people would talk about their their, their elementary school I love it you know what I mean and plus now we get into football some other time I'll talk about football but, but right now. He's going to bring that up because I was watching that. Therefore, I couldn't listen to Yvette when she came on. So I usually listen to her in the morning and the next day, at least on Mondays. You know what I mean? On Wednesdays, catch a ride. Um, so anyway, so, I was, so um, <coughs> I was listening to Yvette this morning. Um, that's the first part. I didn't get to the callers yet right now. I get to the callers. That's separate for me. Um, uh, and she's, she's talking about this uh, this lady, this, oh, the, the, this uh, Silicon Valley lady that, you know, she has some connections when she was younger, you know, of friends, you know, wherever she grew up, they had rich friends or whatever it is. They got some money people like that. And so she started this country just this scam people. People don't understand. The United States, look, what president was it? No, no, Woodrow Wilson is the rest of his To me, the worst president of the United States was Woodrow Wilson, as far as what black people is concerned. I'm not talking about anything else, right? Like that. The worst, right? And when I say for black people, for, for all, don't worry about it. Woodrow Wilson, right? He's a Princeton one. Yeah, like that. Um, but the one I think that it was a Calvin Coolidge, one of those people back then, about that time, he said, the business of America is business. That's it. Most of the things that ever said you can put into, you can distill to a few words, you know, like, 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 like uh, the, uh, the, uh, in football, uh, Colin Hurd, the Hurd guy, you know, the Hurd, whatever it is, he has these, a lot of times you have, he talks about a game, then he talks about, he just used three words to describe what was, was happening. It's those kind of things. Small, uh, economic, ec ec when you're being economic with your words, it's, it's easier for people to remember. Anyway, I jumped off course as usual. So I'm up here thinking, oh, okay, this is kind of interesting. This this woman, she's getting away with stuff like that and then doing, you know, and then it's, she's going to this whole thing, all these people that scam, this, they can scam. They can scam because they're white. It's not, it's it, it, it's their system to scam. Black people, well, they see you coming. So it's, your scam is not going to, it's just, you know, you got to do something else. I remember, what is it, in India, well, Thailand, uh, a lot of times in Thailand, they, what they would have, they would have a, a shop on, on on the ground level, and then the, the, the um, what do you call it? the people would live, uh, you know, family live above the shop, right? So that's kind of, it's called transactions. They're doing transactions all the time. It gives them something to do. They're not trying to. They're not going to some big box or they're trying to try and tear over the world with their whatever it is, whatever. It is. No, they just because it's something. It's just it's human nature to to talk to people like that. I mean, in, in Africa, at least where I'm in South Africa, they have you know, uh, like say you go to the taxi rank or something like that, uh, and you have uh, uh, old older ladies, middle aged ladies, whatever. Have you, they're all selling like you know fruits and stuff like that you know they're selling little little stuff you know well they're not making much money you know what i mean they're not making much money at all so why are they doing it because it gives them something to do that it's their social that's what they do you know it's just that's just human nature you want to you want to be with people you want to talk to people you want to transaction with people like that transaction is just another form of talking which and talking nothing but politics i ain't getting to that point okay so I'm thinking that, well, black people, you know, I, I like it when we have, we're selling t-shirts, we're doing all these little things. Those are little trends that we're not going to make no money with. You're not going to make, you're not going to be no big, big time, whatever with that. With that. You, you might make it a little bit, but you ain't going to be no big time. And so, so it's just about transaction, whatever. And da, 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 da. So it's just really, 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 really good. Now I'm at a, at, a, at a certain advantage because usually people will only listen to people who are celebrity, you know, or celebrity, celebrity means the top of your field. My field, that I, my chosen field, even though he's, I'm not celebrity anymore in that field. I guess I am in a certain way. Um, but, you know, hey, 
but nobody's gonna listen to me because I'm not that kind of celebrity. Or like one time, one person once said one time, I was in this airport. They said, "Are you famous?" I said, "Yes, but not in not in circles that you would know." That kind of thing. Okay. Anyway, that's not the point. Um, so I'm thinking all these people are scamming or whatever have you. Black people are not, never going to scam. The best thing we do is get rid of the system because remember the system is predicated on who you know. So all these people like 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 like, like, like say I'll give you an example. Um, years ago. But way back, 20s, 30s, whatever it is, F, uh, uh, J. Edgar Hoover used, used to recruit for the FBI from Notre Dame. You know, South Bend, Indiana, where it is from. No, Notre Dame, you know, we're, we're, Notre Dame, you know that school. It's Catholic school, right? The, the, is it the Nifty Lions? Whoever they are, right? The Green, right? Because it was a certain class of people. It was one of the working class people. Da, 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 da. So he would recruit his agents from there rather than from, um, uh, you know, Harvard or Yale, you know, that's what OSS, the CIA comes from those kind of places, right? FBI came from, like, the from the Midwest. You, you get it? Perfect, how they do that. Now, HBCUs, okay, we, uh, I'm not going to get to HBCUs. Um, uh, and, and, and so it was It was kind of interesting because these people would inspire on those those people from those Ivy League schools, you know, the, the, your, your Columbia's and Princeton's and then and Sanford's and whatever, MIT's and, well, MIT's not as bad as the rest of the people, uh, Yale and, uh, what do you call that, Harvard and whatever. Of course, you know, if, if your roommate is going to be the president of some country like that, you can say later on, like, man, hey, that's my friend. I, you know, I, I, he was drunk one night and I got him home safely. I said, yeah, you saved my life that night. And then they do deals and stuff like that. You know, it's on a whole other level. So you ain't got those institutions and universities to, like, do that kind of stuff. So we're not in that. We're not in that. We never can be in that kind of thing. You're never going to catch up. The only thing you do is destroy that system so you can replace it with another system, i.e., well, replace another system. Anyway, so I was, I was getting off on that, but let me just say something. So these people, now that's okay. So the new new thing with these, uh, um, what do you call that, uh, rich people, is to be a dropout. You drop out of university. You're there in university long enough to, to make some contacts, you know, long enough to, you know, to, to make some contacts. That's what it is. And this Ivy League University, and since those, you, you see what's happening. So, so that's one, so these people, the latest is that they drop out, right? And then they do these scams because they learned the scams from being with you, know, everybody's scamming. It's, you might go to, to a university with somebody who is really an academic. They really are into academics. You're into scamming, but since you know them, you use the academic, well, whatever, whatever have you, to further your scam. Um, you understand what I'm saying. So anyway, I'm looking at this thing here. So so they can do their startups, and plus they have this, the, you know, the, the social capital, or whatever whatever you want to call it, like that. But I was looking at something else. What institutions, institutions. The only institution we have is like church, really. I mean, you know, we have some other, but the only, and it's sort of like if you go to church, I was just in church, uh, 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 down here, I go to uh, Saint, I go to, when I'm here. It's the only time I really go to church regularly. Is I I go with my sister to church because we're at the Saint Mary's Basilica in Norfolk, which is a very it's a basilica. It's a black church, but it's like it's the only one in the United States. <laughs> I don't know how we get in these situations. Where I, get these, I see these events, these kind of things. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. How do I define it? Anyway, um, so. so um, but but you know in, in church that's how you make your contacts and da 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 people know you and then something happens you know da, 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 that's how you make your contacts no problem now let me jump over to the Nigerians Nigerians hilarious to me uh, people think uh, uh, well it is uh, Christianity is all up in in in, uh, in Africa you know what I mean but the Nigerians are funny not I shouldn't say funny, funny like this what they do is what they use church for and they're always doing business they oh that's a Again, social capital, they do always do a business. So they're therefore they if something happens, they know how to scheme that's a scheme, but they, they have their their ways of, of, of working. Let's put it that way. Okay. So I'm thinking so, you know, it's kinda of interesting because every culture does it their certain way, you know. Uh and so with the Nigerians, now they get into Bitcoin, you know what I mean? So it's gonna be interesting. The Nigerians which is like the second largest economy in, in, in South Africa, in Africa, whatever it is. Anyway, the point is that they're, they're pulling out of the financial system. A lot of people, because it's not your system, they can keep on gaming you. So if you pull out of that financial system or let's put it, at least have a, a toe or a foot out of that system and doing something else, you can still be in that system. You see how it works? Okay. So I'm up here thinking, oh, okay. 
so this is uh this is how it works. This is this is kind of interesting. I'm I'm just loving. See, I'm a witness traveler. You know, I don't have any credentials. You know, and so I'm going like, oh, this is a really great. I want to see how this thing all ends up. You know, and because I have to travel, I just oh, by the way, sorry, I'm jumping off as usual. Like that, like that. My uh, my new passport because my passport was running out. Like next year, October is going to be like ten years, whatever it is. So I had to get a new passport. So I did, you know, right here. Passport, new passport. And uh, this is from uh, 2021 uh, to 12 September 2031. 10 years. Get your passports, by the way. Oh, by the way, if you have a passport, you don't need a passport card. You know, unless you just, let me put this, I travel internationally, so a passport is good for me. In my driver's license, uh, that 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 um, that gets me. Well, I can use passport any place, right? But if I'm just I don't carry this passport on camera around, around the United States, well, a lot of places, right? But the passport card is good for. I think they have it for domestic travel. Uh, now you have a passport card. Nah, but also your driver's license had that. You have that special store in it. It's like a passport card for the United States is concerned. So you don't need the passport card and the passport. Then again, if you want to do it like that, but I got something else. Let me tell you something else. Okay. I'll tell you about that some other time. Okay, so I'm just trying to say a couple of things, right? Uh, it's good to travel if you can. This day of COVID, I know, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, so certain of us, you know, we just we just travel, you know, we just built for that. Um, and so you should you should build yourself for, uh, for you know, real study, whatever it is. Remember, people have, uh, they have ways of, uh, who was I listening to last night? One more thing, last thing. Um, then... Oh, I listen to Terrence McKenna. I haven't learned to listen to Terrence in a long time. Terrence McKenna is like a, you know, you know, the Indian gurus, they always have some sort of thing, but eventually you're paying them, right? Terrence McKenna is not like that. You know, he's like Buck Mills to follow. You know what I mean? They just wax whatever it is. I guess there's some black people. There's a black think tank out in California. Anyway, the point is, uh, he was, he was, it's fascinating. I mean, I got to so listen to Terrence some more. You know what I mean? Because it's wasting your time with football or or, or, or well, the latest music video. Do that. But you also should, should get some sort of philosophy in your head or, or, or ways of looking at the world, the, the, how the world games, everything like that. Okay. There's just a, a slight message from me. T, from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. Let you know what I only suspect.